Hi, Ryan here from Permobil. In this video, I'll be giving an overview of the new Bluetooth iDevice module from PG Drives Technologies. This Arnet accessory allows the wheelchair's input device, such as a joystick, head array, or sip and puff unit, to control an iPhone, iPad, or iPod running iOS software. The module is capable of controlling the voiceover feature as well as the iOS 7 and newer switch control feature in Apple's mobile software. VoiceOver may be good for some applications, but Switch Control offers a wider array of customizable options for the user and is the default setting of the Bluetooth iDevice. Before setting up the iPad or iPhone, you'll need to have the iDevice module installed on chair. Depending on when the chair was made, a software update may be needed to allow the chair to recognize the new module. For more information and help with hardware installation and programming, please contact Permobil Tech Support. Once the module is installed and programmed, turn on the chair. Press the mode button on the wheelchair input device until you reach iDevice control and you're ready to begin the pairing process. It is important to note that only one Arnet Bluetooth device can be installed at a time during the pairing process. Now, let's focus on the connection between the module and your iDevice. First, go into settings and select Bluetooth, then turn on Bluetooth. Available Bluetooth devices should begin to appear below. If you don't see the iDevice module on the list, you'll need to put the module into discovery mode. To do this, give a forward command on the joystick or input device until you hear a beep. This will take about 10 to 15 seconds. Then give a reverse command until you hear another beep. Shortly after the second beep, you should see Arnet iDevice appear. Select the Arnet iDevice and give it a few moments to pair. When you see connected, you know the Bluetooth iDevice module is paired to your iOS device. Next, you may want to set up the accessibility shortcut. If so, enter settings, then choose general, then accessibility. Scroll to the bottom and choose accessibility shortcut. Since we'll be using switch control, select it on the list with this shortcut set. Triple clicking the home button will toggle into and out of switch control, which can be helpful, especially if you get stuck. Now click back to the accessibility menu and select switch control. With switch control, you can define the action of each switch or joystick, proportional drive, input. So let's go into switches and set up a few. Select add new switch, external, and then provide a command from the input device. In this case, I'm going to push forward on the joystick. I'll name this forward short, and I'll assign it to select item. Now, let's add another switch. Again, select add new switch, external, and then provide a command. This time, I'll push back on the joystick, name it back short, and assign it to the scanner menu. You'll notice that I've used short in each one of these switches. A great feature of the iDevice module is the ability to assign three different actions for each direction or switch, based on the length of the input. A short input is less than 1.5 seconds, a medium input is 1.5 to 3 seconds, and a long input is over 3 seconds. So let's try a medium length input. We'll add another external switch, and this time I'll hold back for two seconds. I'll name this back mid and assign it to the home button. Okay, let's jump forward a bit. I've added some additional switches for Siri and for moving the cursor back and forth through the available items on screen. You'll likely want to add more switches to maximize the capability of the iDevice module. Once the switches are set up, we will turn on switch control and we're ready to go. Using the input device, I can now control the iPad. I hope this brief overview about how to get started with switch control and the iDevice module was helpful. For information, please visit our website at www.permobileus.com or call 1-800-736-0925.